what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again with another Giants update video. And in this one, oh, before I even say anything, man, with each day that passes, with each and every day that passes, I hate and loathe not only Giants uh, media and press, but just the NFL media and press. Because, god damn it, with the Giants, you guys already know how I feel about some of these uh, Giants media people, alright? It's specifically with, you know, the press conferences and whatnot, where they ask the stupidest questions of all time. And us as Giants fans, we don't get to learn actually anything from the press conferences. It sometimes feels like the reporters are just just fooling around to be honest with you right cough cough kim jones cough cough many others but the reason the only reason i listed kim jones was because of that offensive line comment where she was like our offensive line is old which is ridiculous but now it's even with the national media as well you know I, and when i say national i mean nfl media um apparently people got a problem with joe judge and it's not anybody that actually plays football or anybody that actually coaches football it's these is these reporters right here all right uh so we all know that joe judge coach of the giants right a lot of people did not believe in him when he first signed on which is a very fair opinion to have when he first signed on because he was unproven right he then proved himself in year one and i feel like a lot of people that did not necessarily believe in judge uh kind of came around or were you know they they tipped their hat and respect him they were like you know we see what you're doing here we see obviously that making running laps wasn't exactly as a bad idea as we initially thought and all that. Like that's what people in the media or some people in the media said, but then there's other that, others that just continue to, I'm, I'm just gonna say hate. I feel like Judge got haters or the Giants got haters. Now that's a fact that I think we could all agree on. The Giants, the New York Giants for some reason over the past like five years is probably the most hated team in the NFL but l let me just get into what I'm talking about here you guys are probably confused so it's two people and the second one um is what the video is really about but the first guy Patrick Doherty and then the second guy uh Cody Benjamin Patrick Doherty of is of NBC Sports and Cody Benjamin is of CBS Sports which I'm not surprised by if you guys have been watching the channel for a while and watching streams for a while you know I clown CBS Sports a bit because I think they're probably the worst you know sports media outlet in existence for the nfl like they're everything about them is just bad their rankings are bad their mock drafts around the draft time are the worst i've ever seen in my life um when they just make you know pieces about players it's pretty bad cbs sports is like it's the lowest of the low to be honest with you but with patrick doherty in june he ranked giants head coach joe judge among the worst coaches in football and he said that judge is a football guy parody and knocked his offense for not improving in the second year even though it was judge's first year as head coach um he this is the exact quote with him the problem was judge's offense which showed zero second year improvement under erratic starter daniel jones the front office is throwing weapons at the issue but it would fail it will fall to judge to make lemonade out of jones's lemons judge can sometimes feel like a football guy parody he took the Sudfield thing just a little too personally doherty wrote in part Tell me you don't watch the New York Giants without telling me you don't watch the New York Giants. And this is one of the main reasons I hate a lot of these porters in general because they have kind of an impossible task, which is to fairly and deeply cover all 32 teams of the NFL, and you just can't do that, right? And this is a clear sign of not being able to do that. The fact that he calls Judge a football guy parody as if Judge isn't a, just like a legit football guy. Once again, this all has to deal with the fact that Judge is one of the more disciplinary coaches in the NFL. He's probably among the most disciplinary coaches in the NFL. Like, obviously, you don't see people calling uh, Ron Rivera a football guy parody. You don't see them calling um, Bill Belichick a football guy parody, although, to be fair, those guys have had a bit longer careers. But Judge, I mean, his players believe in him, and he hasn't shown anything to be a parody nothing about him is an act he's kind of genuine through and through and then he blames the offense on judge well while judge is the head coach he's also made it very clear that he does not necessarily have his hands in things like the offense and defense 
um, to the extent that like former head coaches of the Giants have had. Like Pat Shermer, he was an offensive coordinator before he was a head coach, so his hand in the offense was extently there. You know what I mean? The offense was primarily ran by Jason Garrett. And once again, obviously, this guy wasn't watching. We did have bad offensive line play. Our wide receivers weren't getting open. It was a kind of the perfect storm that resulted in our offense not really taking a step forward. Um, some blame does go on Judge as the head coach, yes, but the most would go on the offensive coordinator in this sense. And then he's talking about the Sudfield thing a little too personally. All these reporters love to take that out of context as if Judge wasn't directly asked about it and he just responded what my team wouldn't do that he didn't even call out the eagles necessarily and he wouldn't even have spoken about that i guarantee you if somebody didn't ask about it which is once again that was a member of giants media and then you got this weirdo cody benjamin who also made his head coach rankings and he ranked judge amongst the worst as well he said sometimes his no nonsense tough guy act borders on silliness like when he condemned the eagles for refusing to get his own team into the playoffs but the disciplinary spunk he had the g-men flashing surprise confidence throughout 2020 the question is whether he's got what it takes to shepherd offensive growth either with daniel jones at quarterback or somewhere else and first of all once again these reporters are taking that whole Eagles thing out of context and not even listening to the entire quote because Judge said, first of all, we should have won our own games and we should have took care of business. We should have gotten ourselves into the playoffs. But of course, that doesn't exist to these people, right? Of course, that doesn't exist to these reporters. I don't know how they have their jobs, man. Jesus Christ. But he literally said that. And he just responded with, if that was my team, you know, basically my starters would have been out there and we would have been playing for each game, which is true because that reflects what he's done throughout the season. I mean, <sighs> these guys are ridiculous. Borders on silliness? Are you kidding me? His no-nonsense tough guy act borders on silliness? What? It works. And it's not an act. Like, first of all, I shouldn't even say it works because it's not an act. It's who he is. He is a no-nonsense guy. I wouldn't say he's a quote-unquote tough guy. He's literally just a disciplinary, strict, no-nonsense coach. That's what he is. And because of the fact that there's not that many of those coaches in the NFL, I guess it's silly to have that old-school mentality with your players, which, by the way, so far, so good. I haven't, I haven't seen one Giants player come out yet and say that, you know, they call it an act or they condemn it or they say that he's a bad coach. It's quite the opposite. Like, literally every Giants player is with Judge. And once again, it works. We weren't supposed to be as good in terms of on-the-field product, not necessarily record, as we were last year. Right? We were in almost every single game. That defense took a step forward that nobody saw coming. The offense struggled. It did. But then the offensive line, which was one of the main problems, really improved down the stretch. Like, there were so many positives in terms of on-the-field product. I just don't get why reporters are calling it an act or still going against what kind of coach Judge is when so far it's working just fine. I mean, these guys are ridiculous. I wouldn't be, I just don't know what to think about them, man. But this, I just hate, I hate the media more and more every day, man. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys do as well. But put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.